So this is a great way to quickly grab all of these similar objects and move them to another layer, change some of their properties. You could change up their color. You could change up their styles or line types. Um, this is also great if you're moving a ton of objects from model space to paper space, or you want to uh, delete a ton of objects. You could do a select similar on a block and select all of those similar blocks and simply hit delete. Now they're all gone. You could also undo that by typing undo or oops a little bit later down the road. But that is the select similar command. Very quickly and briefly, it's going to select similar objects for you and add them to your selection set. All right, moving right along, we've got Control, Shift, and C. Now, this one may be a little bit more familiar to many users, but for those of you who it's not, this is a game changer, especially when it comes to copying objects from one drawing to another drawing. This is super useful. So if you want to copy objects from one drawing to another drawing, you can use the Control, Shift, and C command. This is the copy base command. You can also just type that in, copy base. What this is going to do is copy a specific amount of objects using a base point. Now, where this comes in handy is any type of drawing where you're using real world coordinates. So site plans, surveys, anything like that even architectural plans if you're in a real world coordinate system. What you can do is select a handful of objects and XREFs are also included. So as a bonus tip here, you can simply copy XREFs from one drawing to another and it's going to bring all of the location information as well as the uh, path into that new one so that that XREF is simply just existing in your new drawing.